Welcome to Bora Motors. Today we'll be showing you how to replace the suspension cartridge on the Dualtron Storm. This will be beneficial for those trying to make the ride more enjoyable, stable and safer at higher speeds. The tools you will need to complete this task are a wrench, a wrench extender adapter, a flathead screwdriver, an 18mm socket, a 5mm hex key, a 4mm hex key, and a 3mm hex key. And now that you have all the tools needed, let's get started. First, we are going to remove the brake caliper by using your 5mm hex key. You will need to loosen the two top hex screws located on each side of the brake caliper. That way, we can slide it right off the rotor and out of the way. Starting with the right swing arm, unscrew both hex screws from the outer wheel axle cover by using the 3mm hex key. Then, remove the cover from the arm. Next. Unscrew the four outer hex screws by using the 5mm hex key. On the fourth screw, we recommend leaving the screw in a bit loosely to help support the weight of the wheel for the time being. Then, we will apply these exact same steps to the left arm, leaving the fourth screw loose as well. For this next step, we lowered our lift and used the chair to help support the weight of the front wheel for removal. Using your wrench and 18mm socket, Unscrew the nut located at the top of the right swing arm. We will also apply this step for the left arm, and we'll need to remove the last hex screw from the side of each arm. Once you have both 18mm nuts removed from both sides, you can take your flathead and gently pry the side of each arm to help remove the front wheel. Once you remove the front wheel, you can move it to the side and out of the way of the arms. Using your 4mm hex key, Unscrew the top two screws located on the inside of each arm. This will help us to detach the arm and get to the suspension cartridge easier. Next, we are going to remove the right arm. You will notice a wire located behind both arms. This will need to be unplugged in order to set the arm on the side. Then, we are going to remove the left arm. Gently pull the left arm off and set it aside. To swap out the suspension cartridge, use your 3mm hex key to remove all four hex screws on either side of the cap covering the suspension. Once you remove all hex screws, remove the cap and pull the old suspension cartridge out to swap it with the replacement. Or, if you happen to have a rubber mallet handy, you can gently tap the other side to pop the old suspension right out. Once you remove the old cartridge, you will now be able to replace it with your new suspension cartridge and reverse the steps. First, let's start with putting the cap cover back in place and screwing in all four hex screws to secure the new cartridge. You will need your 3mm hex key again for this to be done. Once all screws are in, we can put both arms back gently into place. Keep in mind, we will need to plug the wire on the back of the arms before doing so. Once you have both arms into place, let's start by hand screwing in the nuts located on the side of each arm. This will help support the weight of the arms temporarily until we tighten this fully later. Using your 4mm hex key, we will screw in the two hex screws located on the top inside part of the arm. Then, we will do the other arm next. Once the two screws are secured in each arm, you can bring the front wheel back into position. That way, we can slide the wheel back on the arms. Once you have the wheel in position, we are going to screw in just one hex screw on each side of the wheel. That way, we can fully tighten the nuts located at the top of each arm. Next, using your wrench, extended adapter, and 18mm socket, tighten the nuts located at the top of each arm. This will help hold the arms and wheel securely in place while we tighten the last remaining hex screws next. Using your 5mm hex key, screw in the three remaining hex screws located on each side of the wheel. This will make sure that the wheel is secured properly with the arms. Next, take your 3mm hex key and screw in the two hex screws to secure the outer wheel axle covers. 
we will apply these steps to the other side of the wheel as well. Lastly, we need to properly align the brake caliper back on the rotor. Using your 5mm hex key, screw in the top two hex screws located on each side of the brake caliper to secure it. Once the brake caliper is attached properly, you can now take your scooter out for a spin and test your new suspension. That's all we have on this tutorial for the Dualtron Storm. If you want to learn more about your scooter, make sure to join our communities where our riders share lots of tips and tricks daily. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to hit that notification bell for future videos. Thanks for watching.